Mm -hmm. Hi guys, welcome back to part two. Yeah. Right, I've got a piece now. I've got two pieces of wood. Um, that was the first one I was going to use. Was a bit of sycamore, but that's turned out quite a bit darker than I thought it was going to. And I haven't got a bit of wood to actually match that. So <clears throat> I've got this piece of oak, and I think that colour might match it a bit better once it's darkened down. Now. <clears throat> I've got Mark's bit in the back. Now, I couldn't clean that sand it or anything. And unfortunately, it wasn't sanded before it was signed. But I've got his signature. I have put a bit of wax over it and it's darkened it a little bit. But I've got his signature there. So that's in the bottom. So I'm quite happy with that. Okay. All right. So I've got that glued there. That's glued in the bottom. Now I've just got to make the lid for it. So let's go. So I'm going to, if at least if I muck that one up, I've got that one. So <laughs> well, never mind. And I've already done a finial to save time uh, with the count. I've already made a little, that's the sort of finial. I didn't want anything like too thin and breakable because you're going to have to lift it off by it. So that, that will glue into that hole afterwards and that will be the finial. Okay, so I've already turned that. Yeah. And that's out of a bit of black walnut. I, actually, it was um, one of the tool handles I took off of one of those tools, which was that. And I thought was just stained up because the other ones are like beach inside. That's actually a bit of black walnut. <laughs> so, yeah, and a really nice because that came off of that. So it's black walnut, that handle. So I kept that and I made the finial out of it. I've got a good few more bits of that. So there we go. You never know what you're going to get. Life is like a bowl of chocolates. Right, okay, let's get this. Right, I've already got a 32 mil hole in that and that fits over my super duper little grippy jaws that I've bought the other when I last went to Snayton. Fantastic jaws they are. I'm holding this sort of thing. You watch it now fly off. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's tight and a quarter. There we go, we've got that. It's not too bad. I've got to round it up anyway, so that's all, all good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Just slightly trued up first, and then I'll get a, get the bottom cleaned, get a size of it, and do all that sort of thing that you got to do. <laughs> right, I'm going to move this out of the way. So I've got nothing. I'm going to put my face shield on. I've already set my calipers for it, so let's get started. Let's go. Right, stand over it, start that up there, good thing. I've already got my spindle gouge nice and sharp. Okay, so I'm just going to come in and take a cut here. Just to screw it up. That's it, now I'm going to come around the front. So basically all I want to do, is I'm going to take a little cut there. I can just come in, put that shoulder up. There's a couple of little, little like knots or something on the front of that side. Look at that little dibble. Right, okay, now I've got my camera for set, so I'm going to get a mark. Oh, that's not bad. We've got that first go. Okay, so we can close them up. Put them back up there where they live. Right, and now I'm going to just uh, put the little recess there to make sure. Then I can test it with the top and make sure it goes in alright. Actually, I'm going to stay around there. I'm going to do that. We're going to do that with the, with the square carbide. Perfect job for this tool. With wrong centre, just full centre. Right, 
right. I'll do that a little bit because then if it's wrong, I've got plenty of depth there, I can have another go. Let me just see if that's going to fit. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Perfect, so I don't want it... Is it perfect or is it a bit... Hmm. I suppose there's a little bit of movement there. I could... Yeah, I could take another cut and make it slightly bigger. Yeah, let's do another one, make it slightly bigger. I mean, it's alright because we've got that lip which this is going to sit inside that bit anyway. Then I'm going to hollow up inside it and leave myself something to get hold of so I can turn it round and do the outer edge. So, right, okay. No, we're slightly, slightly too big, so a fraction more. Loose on one side, not on the hmm. Right, it's okay, I've got plenty of wood. What oh, bugger, it's a bit tight. So we're gonna go again. A bit loose, I mean, not tight. Okay. I think actually it might have been the inner ring that was uh, wrong. If we're going to be taking that off, that's not a problem, that. Right, we'll check that again. I'll get there in the end. Mm -hmm. I've got to see whether that's the outer one or the inner one. I think it might be the inner one. It's not going in. So let's uh, get rid of this for a minute because we don't need to go back up there. Is that it is the outer one? It'll be just just right. Right there we go. That's it. That's it. That's dead right. Okay, so we're keeping that like that. So that's going to sit in there. Right, so the inner one sits in, that's all right. Okay, yep, I know where I'll be going now with it. So it's, uh, 
make it a little bit, tiny little bit deeper. So that I can make this one a little bit deeper. Whoa, I can do that. Right, that's that. Now I can get rid of this bit in the middle. I've got a recess on this, so I can't follow up too much. too far up because I've got that centre. I'm going to be able to get hold of that and I'll be able to do that shape round there. So that's okay. That's going to be not too bad a lid.
Well, there we go, we must finish it. Mm -hmm. Right, now let's see if we can get that held. See where that lid is right there. Okay, yeah, I want to be inside that, so I want that down for that bit. Got down to my bit there, and we're going to work up on the front for a little bit.
a certain shape, see? Remember that's hollowed on the inside. I can hear that quite thin. Let's get more deep as well. That doesn't take much more off of that bit. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so just try and uh, get a little bit of a, a shear cut on that. Put to get a sheer cut on the front of a, mm. of a piece on the face. Right, that's all right. We've got to get more rounded tip. That's a bit too pointed for that. More rounded tip, and that'll come in and get that. So I want this sort of step, see. Right, that's all the right. That's all the right there. Just refine that a little bit. Like so. there you can see that tool mark probably not it's probably a mark on the wood I can't feel nothing we know when we start sanding it let's start sanding to we'll see what happens
I've taken another cut on that, but I can't because it's hollowed on the inside, so it's thin. Sounds like there's something there. There was a little knot on. There was a little knot on there. I don't want to have a look. <laughs> I can hear something. I think it's like a little knot. I don't think I've gone through. Sorry? That looks nice, isn't it? No, it's not. It's just these yeah. these knots. That's what's causing it. Look, it's a nice piece of wood. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a bit now. There's a bit of tear out there. Look. Oh, right. Just shear it. I don't think it's that thin. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take a cut and clean it. I don't actually think that's that thin. Let's see. Here. Oh, well, if that's right, according to that, I've got plenty of meat. I'll show you for the whole of it. Just that edge. I've got plenty, so. Yeah. Yep, right. <laughs> I'm going to have to come in and clean that because that's got a bit of tear, torn grain on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's splinters on it, look. That's what it is. There's something on the wood. It's like got, it's got splintery bits on the wood. Right, I'm going to have to get that out. Okay, I'm going to have to get that out. I think I'm going to be using a nine mil round for that you get that on center yep i think i'm going to use a nine mil round to get that out Thank 
take another cut here and all, which I didn't want to do. You can't do it with gouges on the front, but you can with a carbide. Mm -hmm. Oops, do that. Oh, okay, let's come down a bit. Look and see if I've got it out. We've still got a bit there. Right, a little bit more. A bit lower. A bit more speed. So you can only do that with a carbide, you can't come down there with any other gouge. Tiny, tiny bit, one more, we've got rid of that on that one. Tiny, tiny little bit, tiny little bit. Right, let's go again, get a bit more speed. Well, we're back up to 2,550. Yep, I'm confident I think we've got it out of that. That's gone. Right, sorry, we've got to go through the sanding process again, guys. The boring bit, sorry.
So I didn't put it on last time, but... No ticking this time. Yeah, no torn grain that time, all gone. That's beautiful, that colour, isn't it? Right, now then. Let me just check. Yep, yeah, that's going to fit nice and tight, so I'm going to glue that now. Take that off. Yeah. I don't need that on now. Right, there we go. I think my glue's got a bit of a. That's it, now it come out. There we go. Right, okay, that's in there. to fit in it fits just nice Oh, there we go. Toodle pip, and I'll see you on the next one. I got shells at the bowl. <laughs> well, that's the lid. Yeah. That's the bowl. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> down a little bit that's that's better it wasn't quite down one side good job that glue hadn't just set <laughs> wasn't it and a little bit of movement still right there we go so there we go that's a that's actually don't even move no. that's a perfect fitting lid that it's not meant to be tight tight because but there we go i think that bit of wood matched in all right actually yeah. so good. there we go mark let me know what you think mate <laughs> It, I think it turned out all right. I think that looks quite, quite pleasing to the eye. Yeah. 
little uh, lidded. Let me, let me get a close up. A little lidded bowl. Sure. And it's signed by Mark. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. See? Let me see it. There we go. Okay. okay. Is that all good? Yeah. So thank you for that bit of wood, Mark. It turned out to be, be pretty good in the end. It's a nice piece of wood. As you put that round that way and that'll be better than the cracks. The crack's going to be round the back there. That's sit on a shelf like that and that'll look quite nice. You'd never know. Well, there was a crack in it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Turned out quite nice. Mm -hmm. So let me know what you think, Mark. <laughs> and looking forward to seeing you because I know you said you're going to be at... Uh, Harrogate. Harrogate, so I'll be going to Harrogate and hopefully I I will see you there as well. Yeah. Um, I know you said you're on the arbor net doing the sand, you're going to be sanding, so <laughs> that's all right. As I say, if you practice the little tips I gave you, you never know, they might let you do some wood turning next year. See how you get on. <laughs> if you're laughing for them, laugh. Everyone's got to learn, you know. <laughs> Right, there we go. So, thank you guys for joining me, and we will see you on the next one. Toodle pit. <laughs> Bye, guys.